Hello all, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this cup. So I was inspired by Jessica Flynn of Flynn Sisters Boutique, her damask cup, and I thought I really wanted to do something like this. And then I had somebody come to me and say, I want a red and white cup with diamonds on it. And that was pretty much all I got. And her name, her name, which is Diamond. So I figured I would take this opportunity and use Jessica Flynn's uh, design to come up with this. So if you're interested in seeing how I did this, stick around and we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so now that we have the cup is primed and ready to start sectioning off so that we can apply our glitter, I measured, so for this cup I measured four inches down from the top and made a little mark, a little tiny, teeny, tiny little mark. And I'm going to flip it upside down because I want to draw a line. And the best way I found to do that is by applying, stacking to stacking things to where you get to the right height and you can use whatever stack books stack papers I have a couple pieces of paper actually I need to move this over a couple pieces of paper with a coaster I did and a cup to get to where that mark is and so I'm just gonna put my pencil here like this and get it up and just start spinning my cup and so you're gonna get a nice straight line around the cup doing this and there we go so that's four inches from the top okay so now if i'm muffled sorry i have a mask on because i've got my epoxy mixed up i'm going to be applying this glitter via the epoxy method and so i've got my cup taped off and the glitters i'm going to be using i'm using all white on this on this uh cup so i'm using ice capades my glitter makes it girl's best friend also all of my glitter makes it and fresh snow so i'm going to actually use the fresh snow down here and i'm going to use the ice capades the chunky on top and then i'm going to go in with this semi chunky in the middle but that's going to be a little bit later so now when you're doing the epoxy method you only need a teeny tiny bit so i pour a little bit on the top and then I start to smear down and so if it's really super easy then you've got too much you really only need a little bit this is in replace of any tacket that you're going to use or Mod Podge or spray adhesive um, I found this works the best doing this cup this way is to I do the epoxy method. So you really got to work it out. Uh, if you're having too hard of a time, you can heat your cup up with your heat gun, but make sure that it's all on there. All right, so now this part, I'm going to just take it with my, dab my fingers in and just rub it in. My husband's walking in. I don't know what he's got going on. He's got some gold eye thing going on. He came back with a pair of scissors my daughter swiped. All right, so I'm gonna just dip my fingers in a little bit more. Now I always wind up mixing more than I need. So then I have a mold handy, an earring mold handy or keychain mold to put the extra epoxy in. That's so why I have more earrings than I know what to do with. looking pretty good so I'm just gonna smooth it out and, and put it in one direction I don't want I don't want streaks in it I want it to be smooth all right so that looks pretty good I'm gonna just hang this for a second while I take my glove off my husband made me this cup holder I know they have some other types of cup holders on Amazon, but this is spare stuff we have in our basement and he's always working on wood or something, so why not use it, right? 
So I'm actually, here's all the extra epoxy that I have. I am using a quick set epoxy. For this, it is stone coats, part A and part B. So you mix um, one part A, one part B. And this sets within an hour, I should be able to start working back on this cup. So I'm gonna mix this up. And just pour it in an earring mold. And you gotta work quick with this stuff though because it sets up in about five minutes. So, but of course it only takes you know, a few seconds to pour glitter onto a cup, unless you're super slow. So I got this in. Well, that's going to be pretty. I love the teardrops. And I'm just going to throw this behind me. Now I'm going to start glittering my cup. Okay, so down at the bottom, I'm going to go in with the fresh snow, which is that super fine glitter. That's what I want. So I'm going to do like a marbling down at the bottom, but I didn't want a flat white. I don't know. I just wanted, I wanted some sparkle at the bottom. So I'm going to get that on. I'm just going to pour, pour, pour. Be generous. You don't have to skimp. There's no reason to skimp on it. Make sure you get it completely covered. All right, tap any excess. All right, and I'm going to put this aside because obviously I'm going to put this back into my glitter container because I'm not wasting that gorgeous, gorgeous glitter. All right, so we're coming in with Ice Capades. Ice Capades is very chunky. And so we got to make sure we get good coverage with this. It's got fine mixed in with it, but it's predominantly chunky. It's super, super pretty. And looks like I'm getting really good coverage. So I'm just going to turn this. Alright, so I'm liking the coverage. I was going to go in with fresh snow over top of it if I didn't if I didn't think I was getting good coverage, but I'm liking the coverage. So I am going to leave it. And I need to go get some wax paper because I want to press this chunky glitter down. So I will be right back with that wax paper. Okay, actually, I got parchment paper. It's parchment paper or wax paper. Either one will work. So I'm going to pick this up. And I'm going to press down my chunky glitter with the parchment paper. You don't want the glitter sticking up because then it's going to be hard... Um, it's going to be too thick and you don't want to have to do all that sanding. I try, you know, I, I hate sanding, so the least amount of sanding, the better, as far as I'm concerned. So this one's pretty flat. This one did pretty good. So just look at it from the side and make sure you don't have anything sticking up. And if you do, press it down. Make sure you don't have anything sticking up at the top. And then I'm going to go ahead and let this dry on the cup hanger. It doesn't need to turn because you have such little epoxy is not going to run. And if it does run, then you had too much. All right. So this looks great. And I'm going to... Put it aside and let it dry, and I will be back. Okay, let's get started with epoxying this cup and starting the marble effect. So, I've got my epoxy mix, and um, the two colors I'm going to use on the bottom are black and red because the cup they want it to be red and white. That was the request. So, I'm just going to take a little bit of black mica powder. You don't need a whole lot. This might even be too much. I'm trying to scoop out a little bit, but see, just, whoop, just a little bit. And I'm going to dump it in there. And then I do not have red mica powder. 
So I'm just gonna use red acrylic paint. I'm just making sure this is mixed up really well. Scraping this off. And you're gonna get bubbles when you mix again. So just give it a quick torch. Uh, and that should take the surface bubbles away. So I just wanna get this mixed up. I'm gonna give this a quick torch and then I wanna get my red in here. Just a couple of drops because I don't want it to be too thick. And that's supposed to be red and that looks really pink to me. Hmm. My daughter uses my paint a lot. It looks kind of pink. It's really weird. Maybe if I drop some red alcohol ink in there, that's gonna darken the red up. Here, this is ruby. So I'm gonna just drop a couple of drops of ruby in here and see if I can get this red to like be more red. I don't know, maybe against the white it'll be better, but all right, that's getting better. I like that better. This is why sometimes it's just trial and error, like you're doing it and you're like, that's not the right color. So you just play around until you get what you need. Not always right the first time. I don't know if you can see I'm mixing. All right, that's definitely better. It definitely looks more red to me. I think I might put one more drop. One more, two more drops. Two more drops of this ruby alcohol ink in with the red mat. Mix and mix and mix in. All right, looks pretty good to me now. All right. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna give that a quick torch, torch, torch. Get those bubbles out. Now I'm gonna start applying my epoxy. Now, everybody, everybody I've watched a tutorial, their cup is spinning and they're pouring the epoxy on. Not me. I can't do it that way. I don't know why, but I waste so much doing that. So I pour it and I leave my cup off and I just pour it on. And then I spin my cup and I pour a little bit on. If I leave my cup spinning when I do this, I just, I don't know. It just all pours off. So look, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Just, you know, as long as you get your epoxy on. And I, I do this with my fingers because I find that I can feel better when I have dry spots or heavy spots. Some people, you know, really have irritations to epoxy and even with gloves on, they get like really nervous and use a silicone brush. And I also dip my finger in it too. You can, you know, use whatever works for you. I just happen to like my hands. So I want to make sure that I get a good, I don't want it too thick, but I don't want it too thin. So I'm just going to twist it. And then this is where I can feel like if it's too, if it's like, doesn't feel like enough, then I'm certainly going to put some more on. And once I get it on and I've got it on, then I start to spin. Then I'm okay. It's just while I'm applying it. I have an issue with like it just I don't know so that's the way I do it you do whatever works for you so don't forget your bottom I'm getting my bottom so now I'm gonna come back again and I'm gonna come up on my top and I'm gonna stop it again and I'm just gonna pour it on I know this is probably so weird to some of you because you know everybody's always pouring while it's spinning and not me and don't worry if the epoxy drips a little bit on the other side. Like, it's okay if it drips a little bit because you're going to go back, you're going to smooth it, and it's all going to even itself out and it's all going to be fine. 
And if you notice, I started at the bottom because the glitter is fine. And so if some of it got on my gloves and then it's being transferred up here, I'm okay with that because you're not going to notice. I didn't want to bring the chunky down, so I did the I did the fine first. And guys, I did seal this cup with clear coat before I started this, but I didn't I didn't go crazy. I would have used something um, like triple thick to really seal it down if I had different colored glitters. But because this is pretty much white glitter all the way past the cup, I'm not you know I am not all that concerned if you know this glitter gets up in here so i'm just putting a little bit more and i'm using probably about probably about 30 mls on the bottom and the top because this is a 30 ounce you know i keep forgetting to mention what size my cups are that i'm working on and i'm so sorry for that i'm probably i'm gonna try to go back on my videos and whatever my cups and let you know exactly what size but this is a 30 ounce straight or 30 ounce um, skinny. It is not a, a total, it's not a true straight. So it does have a taper, it tapers this way. All right, so that's on, that's been spinning for a second. I'm gonna change my glove out now. And I'm gonna put another glove on because this is where I'm gonna start applying. I'm gonna go with the red first. And I say marble effect, but I don't know that this is necessarily going to look marbly. So I'm just going to put some color and I'm just smearing the color on. And you know what? I just kind of messed that up a little bit because I didn't want it there. So I'm just going to do this. All right. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just smearing it on with my fingers. Don't forget to put some on your bottom. All right, so I'm going to actually wipe my finger off. And I'm going to go in with the black now. And I'm just going to do this with it. So I have no idea how this black and red's gonna go together. So far I'm liking it and I like the glitter underneath. I like the glitter shimmering through. I think that looks really, really pretty. And I like that. I do definitely like that shine through for sure. So, you know, just do what's comfortable for you and you put on as much or as little as you want. It's your cup. You do what you like. All right, so I'm liking that. And then I'm going to come in with my stick and I'm just going to put kind of like more of a, a line in here. And it's okay if you touch the cup a little bit. It's not it's not gonna hurt it. You've got you know a good layer of epoxy on there. You kind of want like some hard lines in here. And again, you know, this is you know, this is artist style. So if you don't like that, you don't have to do it. It's just you know how I've done it. And I wish I, I mixed way too much epoxy for this. Holy cow, I've got a lot of leftover. I can catch it in time. I'm going to get this in a mold. All right, so. And I like when it gets the really skinny string. That looks pretty cool. If I can get that. There we go. All right, and I'm going to go in with my red now, and I'm going to do the same thing. And this is getting kind of thick. Actually, I don't like that. It was too thick. And I have a silicone catch mat, so whatever gets on there is okay because it comes right off. So if you don't like a spot and it's too thick, just bring your finger in and 
just, you know, give it a swipe. It's okay. Don't be afraid to, to use color. Don't be afraid to, you know, play around with it. So, I'm actually going to come in right here, give a little bit of black there, and I want a little bit of black up here. So, it's starting to get really stringy now. My epoxy is starting to, uh, this epoxy has about a 20 minute work time, and then it starts to get like super thick. So I like this, it's gonna turn, I'm actually gonna put a little bit of heat on it. I'm gonna torch it real quick. Make sure those bubbles are out. So we don't want any bubbles. Make sure you move it over really quick. I use a butane torch. This is, um, I found, it's really working well for me where I was using a small torch before and it wasn't working so good. I'm also gonna put some glitter down at the bottom. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this in my hand because I don't want a lot, but I just want some bit of shimmer in here. This glitter is so pretty. And I'm just sprinkling a little bit on, not going crazy. All right, I like that. All right, now I'm just gonna let it spin. And it's gonna spin for about eight hours before I do anything with it. Don't forget to take your tape off. So that's really important. And I'm actually gonna get epoxy on my fingers because the tape is gonna stick. Actually, you know what? Let me get another pair of gloves. Sometimes I struggle with the gloves on, so I do take it off with like my bare fingers, which is probably making everybody cringe. But again, I'm not allergic, so I can do that. And I wipe it right off with 91% alcohol or um, baby wipes or whatever is closest to me, hand sanitizer. So I just need to find where my seam is to make sure that I get off. And I'll even stop it for a second. It's not a big deal. It's not gonna drip off the cup that quick. So you can just stop it for a second, turn it back on. Take that tape off, and this is actually going the wrong way. This one piece. Just be careful. All right, so I will be back when this is done turning. Okay, I am back with my cup that is dry enough to put my stencil on. I already measured out, and I'll show you in Cricut Design how I did this, uh, the stencils for the diamonds. And I did, I measured it so that it would fit perfectly around my cup. I am using a 30 ounce tapered. Um, but it's such a slight taper that up at the top, it's not going to make that much of a difference. So I'm just going to, I'm going to measure between the top and the bottom. I'm just going to look at it because there are going to be stripes in the middle. So I can adjust the stripes as well. Now this is a stencil. And so, um, you want it to be removable vinyl. Now I use, believe it or not, this is duck shelf paper. That I'm using most a lot of people use the um, Oracle 631 is the removable um, and I found this was actually a cheaper option and um, I just you have to cut it on the paper setting and it comes off super super easy and you get a lot of it for the price so I found it to just be more cost-effective to just use this um, so I've got it on, peel your transfer tape back. Don't worry if there's bumps or even bubbles in there, just press it down because you're gonna spray paint over this. And so I got this all the way off, big piece of transfer tape. I am going to save this because you can reuse your transfer tape. I'm just gonna stick it over here. 
and I'm gonna smooth out some of the areas that may have kinked up a little bit. I have a bubble in that, but again, that's okay because you're just gonna press it down because you are gonna spray paint over it. Actually, the bubbles and the little creases are not that horrible because it'll help you find the stencil once you spray paint over it, especially if you spray paint and glitter, which I'm not gonna glitter, I'm just gonna spray paint over this. So just wanna make sure it's really pressed down well. Uh, I've got it all the way around the cup. Nice doing a nice video. And then I am ready to go ahead and spray paint this. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna tape off the bottom. So, um, hang on one second and I'm gonna go get my tape. Okay, I'm back with my tape. So how I tape my cups off, I use, my mom gets a thousand of these magazines, I swear a week. Every day, there's at least two or three of these. Montgomery Ward. Have you seen these? These crooks? They charge you like double. And they're stupid payment plans. But my mom likes to look through them for ideas. So, and then she tells me what she wants. And then we look on Amazon or Walmart. And then we order it that way. So, I use this as a wraparound. You can use whatever you want to protect your cup. It doesn't really matter. You can use tape, you can use... I just make sure that you don't spray too much on the paper because you don't want it to bleed through. But even if it did, this is already epoxied, so it would just come right off. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this around on my line because I already have a line and you can see the line because it is white glitter so you can see through it which is fine because right where those lines are vinyl is going to go and you're never ever going to see them again all right so now I'm going to wrap my paper around and I'm going to get it to the top ripped off like way too much. I'm just gonna fold the bottom down a little bit. All right, so this is how I tape up my cup. Again, you can do what you want. You can do painter tape, you can do um, clear wrap, you can do aluminum foil, you can do whatever is going to protect your cup. There is no wrong. As long as whatever you're using protects it, it's all good. All right, so I'm gonna be right back after I spray paint this. All right, so I just wanted to show you real quick uh, my design space. I use Cricut Design Space uh, for my design. And so I used, I looked in the free section of the images and I picked this diamond shape. So we'll go back to my canvas. So I used this gray square as a template. My cup is 10 inches around. And I wanted three diamonds, so I measured them out to fit within the 10 inches. Then my first strip is 0.25 in height. Second strip is 0.19 in height. And third strip is 0.13 in height. And they, they overlap just perfectly. So if you have any questions, please comment below. Uh, but this is pretty much what I came up with. Okay, I'm back again. A lot of stops and starts in this one. All right, so my spray paint has dried and I'm going to take off my paper. Right to the side, sticky, sticky. Oh yeah, of course it would come off in pieces. Okay, so nice straight line. Now we're going to peel off our decals, our, our template, our stencil. That's it, stencil. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm like having a problem with words today. What the hell's wrong with me? All right, so we're just gonna use your weeding tool and grab a corner somewhere. 
This one actually has a little lifted spot, so I'm just gonna pull, I'm just gonna bring it up right up underneath it. See how easy that comes up? I really love this stuff. <clears throat> Be real careful, you don't wanna, you don't want to scrape your paint. This is sometimes where other tools come in handy, like weeding tools. I feel like I have like little tweezers and they help grab the pieces until it gets big enough that I can grab it with my fingers. There's that piece, Stick, sticky. I have like these thingies too. Bunch of different weeding tools called for when you're doing different weeding things. Hey guys! Here she comes. Are you eating? Ugh, go eat off camera. Nobody wants to see you chewing. Alright, there we go. Okay, so you can see all that white glitter through. I like it. I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of epoxy over this before I go in on my next step, which is going to be uh, the name and the strips around the middle. So I will be back after my epoxy is cured. Okay guys, I'm back. This is dry enough to handle and now I am going to put my stripes on. So I've already print, I've already cut these out. Uh, so we're gonna start with the black and I'm not gonna use transfer tape. I'm just gonna peel this right off and line it up on the cup. So, Move this over. I'm going to lay my cup down and I'm going to actually stand up so that I can. So I want my line to kind of split the difference between the glitter and the paint. And I'm just going to roll this until I can't roll anymore, until I run out of rolling room. All right, and I'm just gonna put that on. And then <clears throat> don't pull too tight because you can stretch your vinyl, but make sure it's tight enough to where you don't get any bubbles. And then you're just gonna go ahead and line it up until it looks all nice and even. You can have a little bit of overlap because you're gonna put more stripes on here you got, you're not gonna notice that overlap. So like for me, I try, I've tried to like cut at the seam and I never cut it right. I always under cut it and then it winds up, it winds up like I have to cut a new strip because it's too short, so. I'm gonna show you on Cricut Design Space after I lay these out um, and get this under epoxy again. 
I'm going to show you the dimensions, uh, the measurements to cut these strips out. So it's going to make it nice and easy when you want to, if you want to do this cup. We have our thinner My black stripe. Why is your nose bleeding? Where is your nose bleeding? I don't see your nose bleeding. Up in my actual nose, like up in there. Up in your actual nose? Up in there, like in there. How do you know it's bleeding? Because the Q-tip is right and it's so dead. You stuck a Q-tip up your nose? Yeah. Why? Can you not stick Q-tips up your nose, please? It's okay. It's okay? No. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Can I see your nose? Well, I can't see it, but there's no blood on the outside. Okay, so we're good. We've got no runny, gushy, bloody nose. It's not an emergency. Don't stick Q-tips up your nose. Yeah, because it's a bad idea. It is definitely a bad idea. Yeah. Everybody, you should know that already. Because you're grown up. <laughs> there may be kids watching. Probably not, but this isn't interesting to kids. Maybe crafty kids. Who knows? Interesting for me because I love crafts. I know. All right, so I got that middle one on. I'm loving the way this is looking. Guys, tell your kids to watch this. One more stripe. All right, peel this baby off. Either if you're a girl or a boy. Yeah, girls, boys, doesn't matter. You can be crafty, whether you're a boy or a girl. Yeah, just, I'm saying, either if you're a boy or a girl, tell your kids if, tell your kids to watch this video because it's very good. Um, mommy's videos, please like and subscribe to them. All right, we do that in the end. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just getting this last straight this is down. This not how videos go, but this is how graphic videos go, but I'm a kid. I don't know how they go. All right, so I'll cut that little piece off. Make sure I don't yep, use it on my finger. There it is. Alright, I'm line this up a little bit better. Wait. I'm just gonna shift that over and there we go. Ooh, okay. So there we go. <laughs> Get her stripes. All right. So now I'm gonna put the name. Her name is Diamond, and wow. I already cut her name out Look on my pen. Cricut Design Space, and it's I've got pen. my. Yeah, <laughs> Don't play with the. <laughs> Don't play with the sharp pens. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh look, I picked up a teeny tiny little clover glitter. Look at that. Runaway glitter. Okay, so I'm gonna peel this off. 
And I'm going to put it on. Look at that. It's cute, right? All right, so I'm putting this right in the middle here. Cool. Make sure I line it up. See that? <laughs> Press this down with my fingers. These are very sharp scissors. Don't play with these if you ever come to this house at night when we're sleeping. <laughs> Let's hope nobody comes to our house at night when we're sleeping. All right, and there it is, right underneath one of the diamonds. And I am going to finalize this. So I'm going to put hopefully no more than two coats of epoxy on here. What and this cup is, is going to be done. All right. So I'll be back with the finished product. Okay. I am back and this cup is done. What a labor of love. Um, there was so many steps into making this. Uh, you really don't know what's involved until you really get into doing it. So um, I really love how this came out. The customer loves how this came out. And um, that's it for this tutorial or information, whatever you wanna call it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment below. I will link uh, the products in the description below. So make sure you check that out. And I will see you all next time. Bye.